breaking through with 13 points to 10. I have to say England have been incredibly unlucky. They've been in the wars really and they've just only got eight full fit players to start in this bowl final and just very sad to learn that Matt Turner has broken his ankle. Chris Cracknell has got an AC, AC, ACL, he's got a very bad ligament, knee ligament. John Brake has hurt his ankle, Tom Powell had a bang yesterday. So they've really only got Jeff Williams on the bench who will probably be the only one to come on. So Marcus Watson has gone to scrum half, Rob Dickham and of course Lund is in charge of the side as captain but it really is uh, a really bit of bad luck and has put them uh, back for some time. Spain, well, impressive this day, I must say, particularly that win uh, against Wales last time out in the semi-final of the bowl. Hey, Pablo Feiju, what, what, what an example he has been, the man who's been in the sevens for 11 years, as well as playing 15s, of course, he's played over 50 times, caps for international 15s. Led by example, his first tournament was in London 2001. And the one new start in the lineup is Lewis Rolls, who uh, is now playing in Quesos in northern Madrid. He's the one new man, 26 year old, who has made his name. But uh, the rest of them in that lineup are all pretty experienced, albeit only two or three tournaments a season until now. So here they come, England in the uh, coral pink. Probably how it might be described by Couturiers, I'm not sure. They've been uh, sky blue as well. Hasn't uh, done them any particular favours, I don't think. No good luck with it today or yesterday. There, Spain. Well, they were triumphant in uh, coming through as the core team in Hong Kong. And this is only their 19th. HSBC 7s series tournament but they are certainly coming better all the time James McPhail has the honor of the final of this bowl final 27 year old from Wellington started uh, refereeing as uh, a schoalboy at, Mul at uh, Palmerston North Boys High School and uh, a very good uh, panel of referees for this season so it's England with uh, not much strength behind this seven. What? Christian Lewis Pratt will start the final. Seven minutes each way. It's only the cup final that has ten each way. Sun setting now. It's been a beautiful day. Ideal conditions. Spain making a bit of a hash of the first kickoff, but they get lucky and get the ball back. England ran it into touch. Nashia Martin in the middle. Sixth game for these two finalists. Pretty intense. So this is Feiju, the captain, via Ignacio Martin. They work together so well, those two. Dan Norton is the man covering on the far side. Marcus Watson. Knock on, England put in. Let's see if they can release Dan Norton on the left wing. See him come all the way across to this side of the field. He's um, a genuine pace, as does Marcus Watson, the pair of them. Yeah. Out here, they'll try to shift the ball if they win in England and probably try to get it in their hands early. There's first chance for him for Marcus Watson. There's the acceleration, the ball eludes them both, and uh, just a touch not knock on by Marcus Watson. There, he's 21 year old, playing in only his uh, ninth tournament. He was in the 15s game with uh, London Irish and she was a development squad player and then with Saracens. Crouch. Touch. James Rodwell there. 
Rob Vickerman. Training. Chris Brightwell, England's front row. Been penalised for turning the scrummage. Oh, it's a shocker. Well, well, well. I think it meant to touch. Tom Mitchell. Once again, that was uh, Marcus Watson. Another uh, static start to the game. For England, obviously, it's very much a, a mental challenge when you hope to be in, you know, the, the later rounds of the cup. Find yourself in the bowl. Well, if you're in the bowl, finally, you may as well go and win it. Yep. Scrum's a bit of a mess. Spain will come out with the ball. With the legs. Totally different uh, for Spain. They haven't yet won a bowl final. They did make the cup quarter final in London, which is their best success. Last season, back end. So they would be delighted if they uh, achieve this win over England. Tom Mitchell. They're not gone again. No well, advantage. Well, can't not get much started. To say. <laughs> not much to say so far, is it? Not very. Really, not great. <laughs> Too many errors. Yeah. Lots and lots of errors. Three from Spain, one from England. In the act of scoring a try in the first. A couple of minutes, four minutes of the game, we've got four errors already, which is a pretty high count. Well, given the fact that not the rest of it has been much good either. No. Touch! Set! Away, scrum half from San Sebastian gets the return pass inside. Advantage played here, Carlos Blanco Smith. Numbers! Guy who was born here in Sydney. Father was a Spain international too. The breakthrough here and the charge with the support from Tudela, Matias Tudela, just short of the line. Oh. And the try is given by the follow-up by Pedro Martin. One of the smallest guys in the game, just uh, about ten and a half stone, 65 kilograms. Well, it was all a bit careless, wasn't it, by England in a way. There wasn't much good strength of strength of defence. When Lewis rolls, you expect him to get over there, places the ball as he's able to in any direction, he works to get back to his feet. Perfectly right. And Martin, like a thief in the night, took it from under him and scored the try. They'd be delighted. Spain to be on the board. Opportunity now to convert. And it's good. Ignacio Martin adds the two points, and it's Spain. A minute and a half left to go, leading seven points to nil. Not the start England would have wanted. And this kickoff now becomes critical for both teams. England, can they get themselves back into the game? Spain, can they win the ball? Score again just before half time. It's a good kick. Didn't go 10. Close. Free kick for England as they set themselves now. The well, they want something before half time. Yeah, we'll One see. minute to go. That's all. Got to sort of get in the groove. They haven't done so yet. This is Tom Mitchell, Oxford University postgraduate. Now is James Rodwell at Birmingham University. Oh, well played here by Mitchell. It is. Goes wide. Should be a try for Lewis Pratt. Goes over. Good creative work from Tom Mitchell there. Did well, it was the offloads in the middle of the field. Mitchell gets the ball back and he does well, takes his time, draws the right people to him. Puts Christian Lewis Pratt into the corner. Now he's uh, contracted with the England Sevens, but uh, when he was 15, he played for Wales. At under 16.
Looks a good kick. Terrific kick from wide out to level it off right on the stroke of half time. Nice kick. 21 year old, born in Richmond, went to Wellington College. Used so many good uh, rugby players over the years, particularly past years rather than currently. 7 all in this bowl final. Well, disappointing uh, weekend for Ben Ryan. He's uh, just a bit of Don't go advice. back to where they're from. Yeah, behind their scenes and attacking hard. Let's show some composure on the ball as well. Yeah, all good enough players to buy that time on the ball, time on the ball, then we play what we want to play. Just in attack, when you're getting a little plays around the ball, I'm seeing three or four players out there and that's where we should be hitting space, but you're not necessarily communicating that, so I don't blame them for playing narrow. Get the ball away and attack it and go forward. Got to be defensively, yeah. can we make sure that we continue to put their players where we want to put them? I.e., on their outside, open up the, the breakdown. But let's make sure to do that. Don't overchase. Only works if you can your best and attack them quite hard. Let's go, boys. Come on, Spain. Spain. Coach. Coach. The brothers yeah. Yeah. up a bit. Yeah. Uh, it's sad to see. Uh, a couple of England players on the bench, one with uh, his leg, uh, not actually last leg, but he's uh, certainly not able to walk at the moment. That's uh, Chris Crackle and Matt Turner. England with just their eight fit players they can only get one replacement that would be Jeff Williams Christian Lewis Pratt this is Rob Vickerman our father had a young baby Jack during the summer here's a chance real chance here again it's Mitchell is he going to go for it himself Still did well to keep his uh, possession of the ball by Norton to Rodwell. Marcus Watson popped up there to Norton again from Bright Chris uh, Brightwell. Rodwell has got time to pick it up safely and score to give England the lead. He's been very much a cornerstone of England the last few seasons. This is his uh, 35th tournament. Got better by the season. A little chip kick. It sort of felt at this point it didn't or well, wasn't going to come off. Rodwell ever alert. Followed through. Kept his composure. Stuck the left foot out. Scooped it up and scored. I will be disappointed. Well, for those of you who play uh, mini rugby, there's the guy who started out with the Tring Rugby Club minis and ends up in England's sevens. It's another superb conversion by Christian Lewis Pratt. Well, they're the injured guys, John Brake there, and then uh, Matt Turner and Chris Cracknell, all three in... Uh, in troubles and it seems that Matt Turner and Chris Cracknell may be out for several months let's hope it's not that long but that is the, li the, the likelihood two key men particularly well all three of them Lewis Pratt Spain still looking lively there's a very nice break coming from Ignacio Martin. Still going. Oh, well done. It's a good try. Well, he's had a terrific game, Ignacio Martin. Certainly on this second day, he was outstanding with Peju in the game against Wales. His 28-year-old, another man from San Sebastian like Peju, and who 
played his first sevens eight years ago in Bordeaux. This was well worth with Pano and then Ignacio Martin. The Ignacio Martin, the try scorer to level things up from right in front. The extraordinary thing really is, is uh, Rod, is that, you know, these guys play 15 internationals as well. And Ignacio Martin, you see there, you know, he has got 40 caps for Spain in the international field. Similarly with uh, Canosa and Peju, who's got over 50. Yeah. So they have a pretty busy life. Yeah. I just wonder whether they will now drop out from having the 15s game because now their full, full core team enters. Rob Vickerman. Oh, oh well played. Eventually. Just a couple of metres short of the line. Gets a penalty as well. Good work by the man. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, it was a gift, wasn't it? Had it been up forward. Dear, oh dear. Dan Norton. Poor pass. I think it was the right choice. They had the option to have the shot at goal, but still plenty of time left. Two and a half minutes for a couple of scores. 14 all it is. Two minutes, 20 to go. Oh dear. It was just a poor pass, Norton. Didn't compose himself. He thought he had a run into the line and was under pressure. Great defence from the Spanish side coming off their line, forcing the error. Crouch. Good run by uh, Rob Pickham in there. Touch. Sit. Pickham, a new uh, significant member of the North Country teams, Leeds, and then Newcastle Hi. Falcons. Quick throw in from Lewis Pratt. Now is. There's going to be a bit of magic from Dan Norton that we've seen so many, particularly last season. Gets the return pass from Lewis Pratt. Back on his end, 22. It's on the bounce, and it's a kind bounce for Spain. Javier Canosa. Oh. Four points all it is, remember. So he lost by White and a tackle. It's a knock on by England. Wow. Opportunity there back on the inside. The second pass was needed. Absolutely. Just the little hands. England kicked a lot in the tournament, as you can see, more than anybody else. Spain in third spot. It's been, a f it's been something in England. Just, you know, they sort of lost their way a bit. And, mm. uh, it was like yesterday, Vickerman sort of said, Look, I don't know what's gone wrong, but he admitted it, you know, when they had those disappointments against Crouch. Kenya and uh, Samoa and failed to get into the cup quarter final. I mean, when it was expects them to be in the cup quarter final every time real contest for the ball here Spain have done very well and they go kicking I mean by the well, last season they were in the cup quarter final every time every tournament just somehow it went wrong this time Knock on again and uh, put in to Spain. It's still 14 all and 40 seconds to go. And of course, there will be a sudden death if it's still equal when the final hooter blows. Pablo Feju. He's been their inspiration for Spain, not just here, but also in the uh, qualifier that got them into the court teams of the HSBC sevens. Spark has been missing from Dan Norton. Well, it's just inside the half of England, and it's a penalty. And Spain driving forward. England now on the rack. It's 14 all. Next score, if there's one to be before the final whistle we hear, will be the, winnings, the winning score. Spain trying to keep it in play, and they have done so. Oh. Went backwards. Good tackle by Vickerman. But still the danger. This time with uh, Matthias Tudela. Lavino. 
Oh dear. So it's going to be extra time, it's going to be sudden death. Well, England below par, one has to say, and they know that themselves, I'm sure. Spain holding England, as they very much nearly did yesterday when they lost 10 to 13. But, um, well, anything can happen. Just the one score, first score, that will win the bowl final. The referee has to uh, cost, the, cost the coin. Two coaches come together. This is something that's been fully introduced this season. Which side do you want? We'll go that way. Okay. Okay, you'll kick off. So, uh, Spain go left to right, England will kick off. Remember, any sort of score, penalty, drop goal, try, first score is the winner. I wouldn't like to predict this. No, tough. Spain probably got the, the, more, the, the greater energy, they've got more reserves. Now would be a good time to probably put them on. and More motivation too, I sense. Yeah, if you can see them fresh player comes on and maybe they've just got that little bit more spark well I feel sorry for Ben Ryan I, I watched England training one of their days just before they came out here and I thought they looked so fast so quick so talented but it's a different story when you play in it you know a, another nation isn't it yeah. you know even if you have opposition there it's not the same no you always look good against the grass <laughs> <laughs> that's true so England in this extra time, five minutes each way if it needs it. The first score, any score, will be the winning. Away by Feiju. Lavino sends it wide to Heredia. Martin Heredia. No sweeper for England. They're pushing oh, hard. Oh, there it is. And it's Pablo Feiju. Chase by Marcus Watson, he won't get there. Oh, my goodness Down me. Down to spread it, just hard to the right. Oh, there's a run. drive on now, but Tudela, Tudela goes for the corner, and there's the winner. Anywhere Matthias will do. Tudela. Anywhere. Oh, he's yeah, working. He's working about putting it around behind the post. And so, oh. Spain beat England in extra time. For the first time, they've actually beaten England. In Edinburgh, they lost to England 12-22, but this will be a very famous win for them as they have, for the first time ever, beaten England in the HSBC Sevens World Series. And, uh, well, a heartbreak for England. They've had all their problems, of course, through the injuries, but all credit to Spain. They, uh, they, they were the team who looked uh, more determined, didn't they? They really did. They've, been, they've impressed me in, in all of their games to be there. They surprised me. And this is their first ever trophy. They've been in three... They've been in three bowl semi-finals. They had wins over Hong Kong, Kenya, USA, Canada, France, Scotland, Wales. First time, famous time. They'll remember this one when they beat England in the Gold Coast Sevens. Te win is niks sonder die wil om voor te brei nie. Kans speel minder van een rol wanneer jy jou kracht geconsolideer het.